Hey, good morning, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK, coming to you from Hamvention 2023. I'm here with David this morning from VHQ Hex and wanted to uh, take a look at this product. So, David, tell me a little bit about this, uh, yeah. about your product here. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Well, I mean, I, I never really planned on starting an antenna company, but okay. I, I bought another brand and it came down in two months and I was very disappointed. So I had to go get it and I just wanted to fix it into something that I didn't really have to deal with. So you bought a hex beam, yeah. put it up and two months later it's on the ground. Yeah, and this, okay. is, this is what I found. This is what happens, right? So. Uh, what all these other guys don't understand is you have to have a good foundation to anything that you make. Right. Right. So I, I think that they assume that there's equal pressure on the support cords on the top of these and it, it doesn't matter how strong this is. But if you get wind or snow or ice, it puts pressure uneven on this, right? So. In testing, we found that these these will break with only 110, 120 pounds of pressure. Oh wow, that's not very much. Right. So, I I I came in and I really overbuilt it, but that's what I do. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this is a 15,000 pound uh, inch and a half diameter fiberglass dowel, and I went to a quarter inch wall, and then I billet machine all of these parts for myself, the specific for this antenna and designed not to really. So I don't know what this, I would say 10,000 pounds maybe would it would take to break this, I don't know. But I do know that we, we put 2,200 pounds on this in a live test and it snapped that bolt and it didn't bend or break the antenna. And then in, in a computer uh, stress analysis, at 1,100 pounds, this deflected um, 15 thousandths. So th this is indestructible. And I, I have a lifetime guarantee, but, but back to what I was saying, I, this was just for me. But a lot of guys that are near me, they all lost, and all of the other brands are, have this problem. So I had to make them for my friends, and then they started talking about it on the radio, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll just start selling them. And it's, it's overwhelming now, I can't keep up with it. But I have the lifetime guarantee, and uh, even hurricane strength wins. If a hurricane breaks this, I'll replace it. Not so much the other parts, because a hurricane's gonna rip everything off. Right. But I do, um, I have replaced rods from severe ice storms for people under warranty. Maybe, I think I've sold 400 or so of these. And I've only had a few customers that had arms break, and they're really happy when I give them. Like if they break one arm, I give them a whole set for free. I'm not, you know, because you can't tell if one of the other ones is getting ready to break. You can't see it, right? So, so it might just have a hairline crack. That right. You're, you're gonna so, miss. So yeah. So I, I just I give them the whole set for free, but um, and it, like I said, it's, it's very rare to happen. But so if you buy <laughs> if you buy so the way I was looking at it with this, I, I lost a thousand bucks in a in two months. So if I bought another one and it lost that, so I'm, now I'm into it two thousand, and I got no antenna. Right? right, right. So you spend your money one time here, and you don't ever have to worry again. But um, some of the other things that I did is I, I went with a larger size wire. I used 12 gauge wire, um, mainly for the robustness. And um, this is uh, something we, we found out that if you stand the coax away from here, it cuts the capacitance out and you, you uh, gain one less SWR. So it helps your SWR on that. Okay. All right. But, um, and if, so there was these guys that did an independent review in CQ Magazine two years ago, and it has the whole history of the design of the hex beam from its inception, from Mike Traffy all the way to the new modern designs, and there's a lot of good data in here, and then 
they went and they did a full uh, analysis of my antenna and all the data is in here. And um, and that's in the November 2021 yeah, and the, issue. If you go to my website, vhqhex.com, um, there's a PDF link on there and you can look at this article. But it's, it's really got a lot of information about the history of the hex beam. You should definitely check it out. Okay, awesome. But, um, um, yeah, that, that's basically, uh, and so, lifetime guarantee, I mean, that, if that doesn't sell you, I mean. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, you can clearly see the difference, right? Between yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, just hold these two things. Oh, wow. That is a marked difference yeah. in the weight of those two. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to break. Yeah, but absolutely. I've had mine up for three years, and I haven't even gone up and looked at it That's yet. That's incredible. So. That's got to weigh three times what this section oh, does. Oh, yeah. But just, you know, look what happens to this just with a little bit. It's not going to happen here. Right, right. That so, is really, really awesome. Now, what was your website again? It's uh, vhqhex.com. Okay. David, thank you so much for taking a few oh, minutes with oh, us this morning. You. Yeah, and thank uh, you. look forward to taking a look at one of these yeah. on the website and doing a little bit more research on it. All right. All right. All have right. a good Thanks, one. Man. Guys from Hamvention 2023, we will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.